after setting up your Roku TV, the first thing that you need to do is fine tune its picture settings to your liking. And in this guide, I'll show you Fix 369's recommended best picture settings for your Roku TV. To edit all the picture settings, first switch to an input such as your console, live TV, or your favorite streaming channels such as Netflix, Apple TV, or YouTube. After choosing your preferred input, to go to picture settings, press the option button on your remote and it will open TV settings. If it doesn't open for you, then make sure that you're playing a video. After that, press the option button, from there go to picture settings, then first we'll change the picture mode. For the best image quality and true to life color, we will select the movie picture mode. It may seem dull at first as you have been using the oversaturated color modes, but this is the way to go if you care about true to life image. After selecting the picture mode, we will go to customize picture to fine tune the picture settings. First we have backlight and you need to adjust it according to your environment. Then we have brightness and it's best to keep it in the middle. If you increase or decrease it too much, then it will make the picture look faded or too dark. Next comes contrast or black level. The sweet spot for this is around 80. Next we'll head to sharpness. It's better to keep it all the way down at zero so that the picture looks smooth without any artificial grain and sharpness added to the edges. Next is color. When it comes to this, it's better if you keep it around the middle. You can increase it several points if it feels good but increasing it too much will oversaturate the colors and crush picture detail. Next up is tint and we'll keep it as is. Then we have picture size. You need to select either auto or direct to prevent your picture from getting stretched or cropped. Next up is game mode, which can help reduce input lag. So if you're gaming on a console, you can turn these settings on. Then we will expand the expert settings. For the dynamic contrast, we will keep it turned off because the rest of the options will increase or decrease the brightness automatically and we don't want that. Next up is color temperature. It should be set to warm. The other options will add a blue tint, making the lighting look unnatural. And this wraps up our Roku TV's picture adjustment. Just make sure to apply these picture mode adjustments to all the inputs if you don't want to do it manually for each of them. Well done! Now you know how to get the best picture quality on your Roku TV according to your own preference. If you found this helpful, make sure to drop a like and stay tuned for more.